Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome in to Mornings with Loretta. One way to celebrate the holidays is with crowd-pleasing desserts. So joining us today is expert pastry chef, Michelle Palazzo, who is teaming up with Pool Gr She's going to tell me how to do that, but it's a European-style butter. I can't wait to hear about it. To share her professional pointers for baking everyone's favorite, a picture-perfect pie. Hi, Michelle. Welcome, chef. Hello, Loretta. How are you? I'm doing fantastic because I just feel like I'm going to learn so much from you today. So let's just jump in. Nothing compares to a picture perfect holiday pie. What's the most important element of any pie? For me is, I guess, the crust, but you could tell oh. me I could be wrong. Well, actually, the most important element to any pie, I have to say, is also a buttery, flaky pie crust. And to achieve that perfect pie crust, my number one tip is better butter matters. Oh, my goodness. So you have all these tongue twisters, perfect pie, <laughs> and now we have better butter pie crust. Okay, you're, you're, my, you're my new best friend today. So what is the key for creating a perfect pie? How do we get that better butter um, pie crust? So uh, a key to making the perfect pie crust is using high quality ingredients. And you know, Peluga European style butter is a butter that I use in all of my professional kitchens. And it's that slow churn pliability and that 82% butter fat, which is the French standard. And what this does is this creates the perfect formulation to create a melt in your mouth taste and that super flaky pie crust. And there you go again, melt in your mouth. <laughs> You, I mean, they're so descriptive. They are so descriptive. So can you share some of the expert tips for achieving a flaky pie crust that any baker can try at home? Someone who's so, never baked a pie from scratch like me. <laughs> so my number one tip actually is to keep all of your ingredients as cold as possible, especially your butter. My second tip is, you know, after we've made our pie dough, we want to really allow that pie to relax, keep it in the fridge, allow it to stay in the fridge for at least 20 minutes just to have that gluten relax a little bit. And what this will do is this will prevent any shrinking that you may have or also will create that really super flaky pie crust. Okay, so have everything cold, so no room temperature butter? No, no room temperature butter. Keep that butter nice and cold. Okay, I'm learning and taking notes. So what other professional baking hacks can you um, share with us today? So a wonderful technique that I use to make a really ultimate fakey pie crust is a technique called the Blitz Puff Stacking Method. <laughs> quite the tongue twister. So basically this is when you take your dough and you're going to stack your dough on top of itself. And what this does is this creates that dough butter layers, almost like you're making croissant dough. So you get a nice, beautiful open crumb and a very crispy pie shell. My second technique is a blind bake technique. And anybody who has made any sort of uh, liquid based pie knows this technique. And this is when we're going to just blind bake just our pie shell, and then add our liquid ingredients to it. And what this does is this helps uh, keep the shape of your pie, reduces any shrinking, and also allows your pie crust to stay as crisp and flaky as possible. I'm going to take notes. I'm not even, I'm just going to take notes. <laughs> A blind, you bake your blind pie shell. So that in layman's terms, somebody who's never, ever baked a pie, you just, after you have your pie crust on the pan, you just put it in the oven for how long? I would say about 25 minutes. You usually do, so, you usually either um, weigh it down with either some like old baking beans or pie weights. And this for about 25 minutes, just until the bottom gets nice and crispy, a little golden in color. And then you can add your filling. And this really helps keep that pie crust really, really nice and flaky. Okay. It sounds so fun and so complicated at the same time. So before you go, I want you to just run through those steps again, because I'm going to really sincerely take notes. So can you share a pie that will wow guests this holiday season that I could make? Because I know I was reaching high for a cobbler. Let's try a pie. 
So what's your favorite for us? <laughs> so I have two. My favorite is, and I always have this time of year, is a chocolate custard pie. In this case, I've added a little bit of pecans in it, as well as a little pecan praline layered with our chocolate custard pie. Another one is, I know every year we have to have some sort of pumpkin pie. I've added a little bit of maple syrup to the actual pumpkin pie filling, and then finish it off with a little bit of cognac, and that really elevates and flavors the pumpkin in a really beautiful way. Both of these recipes, I use my flakiest pie crust using that Pluger European style butter. Okay. So did you say cognac in the pumpkin oh, pie? Cognac in the, in the pumpkin pie. Oh yeah. We're having fun here. <laughs> I, I gotta come find, I gotta be where you are when you're baking because you, you, you are the chef, honey. You, I, I see why we're here today. So the chocolate filling pie, I want to kind of go back to that one because it looked like it was in one of those pita bowl <laughs> bowls, but it was really pie crust. How did you achieve that look? Yes, I actually use a really beautiful, it's a, a brioche a tet mold. It's uh, traditionally you make them with brioche, but I love the shape of it. And I think it just elevates kind of the display of your pie. And also it creates a really nice little uh, well to hold all of your uh, amazing praline paste that you make inside the actual shell. And then we're going to fill it up with the, obviously our beautiful decadent chocolate custard. Okay, because... Our time is winding. I only have a couple more minutes. So what's my first process? Out of all the stuff that you told me about the blind date pie crust and the mouth watering crust, and can you just walk me through the first thing? I know you can't go step by step really slowly, but just give it to me like you already told me and I'll get it. Um, so number one tip, you take your uh, dry ingredients, you've added your butter, you then add your cold water. You're going to mix that all together. Let that chill, relax in your fridge for 20 minutes. You're going to stack that dough on top of itself. We'll roll that out and then we're ready to uh, do our blind bake. Or if you're making something like a, a, a apple pie or even a cobbler, you can just go ahead, add your ingredients on and go ahead and bake it off. Look at you. Look, I feel like I can do it. I, I feel like I can just go in the kitchen right now, get my ingredients and do that thing. So... <laughs> Before I get on another rant of a ton of questions for you, Chef, can you just tell us where we can go for more information? So for all these baking tips and these decadent holiday pie recipes, you can visit Pluger.com. Pluger. Pluger is one of the best fresh butters. And I've learned, when I say, honey, I could... I can do a lot of damage with the information that you share today. So, Chef, thank you so much for being our guest on Mornings with Loretta. And do come again before the holiday season is over. Thank you so much for having me. All right. Bye-bye. So let me tell you about Frenchette pastry chef Michelle Palazzo. She knew she wanted to get into the food game, right, since she was a child in New York. And she loved cooking shows. She learned to poach an egg and bake a souffle at Vikings Cooking Camp and volunteered for bake sales all throughout high school. And now here she is. Here she is. Her first full time gig was 2012 at Rainers at the With Hotel, where she quickly worked up pastries as a sous chef and her mentor, Rising Stars alum, pastry chef Aaron. So I'm fascinated by baking as you. <laughs> Hopefully you all picked up on that today. I am so fascinated with cooking now. But I did a thing on Tuesday. We had a big announcement. Spotify was on the show and they came on and talked about a new announcement. And I was one of a few outlets that were privy to this pre-announcement announcement. And so we have their DJ, their AI DJ X. And also he's the head of cultural partnerships for Spotify. Check out this big announcement that um, they made and shared on Mornings with Loretta, one of the few outlets that got this. It's public now, so it's okay to tell you. Not be un it cannot be denied. Let me tell you. So let we have a solution to that because we love Spotify. We love listening to our jams, whatever the genre is. We all all over Spotify. So Spotify is really smart. So what they're going to do, they're going to jump into that pool of audiobooks, and you're going to be some of the first people to find out. And guess who's here with us? None other than the DJ AI, Xavier Jernigan. He's also, let me tell you this, he's super amazing. He is head of cultural partnerships. Welcome, Xavier, to Mornings with Loretta. Loretta, thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm excited to be here. I love your oh, energy. Yeah, we're going to do this again. So um, let's just jump right in. Can you tell us more about the findings from your survey and the rise in audiobooks? Because we're talking about 18-year-olds to 34. Who knew, right? 
So tell us about Ooh. that survey and your findings. Ooh. Absolutely. So we surveyed over 1,000 Americans across the country. And what we found, Loretta, is that they're turning to audiobook listening for comfort listening. What we mean by that is over 63% of our respondents are listening to audiobooks for relaxation. 51% of our respondents are listening for comfort. Plus, we found that 41% of our respondents, they're listening to audiobooks for those cognitive benefits. What I'm talking about is sharpening your memory, keeping that memory sharp, keeping your mind active. And like you said before, who knew? Shout out to the millennials and G Gen Zers out there. Y'all are leading the way. 72% of 18 to 34 year olds are listening to audiobooks. They are leading the charge in this new wave. And I think it's a beautiful thing. I totally agree with that. And I'm all about, because, you know, people think they're a force of nature in a negative way. And that's because you don't know any. And if you haven't birthed one, you haven't spent time with one, you're going to lean toward mm -hmm. that side that says, you know, they're the whole generation. How can a whole generation be lost? And how can a whole generation be the best? So tell us more about what Spotify is getting ready to announce this week and how our viewers can be uh, access, can have access to it. So Loretta, I came here to give you an exclusive. It's some big news going on at Spotify because you love Spotify so much. I thought I would come here and give you this big news drop for all premium account holders here in the U.S. If you have an eligible Spotify account, meaning if you're the primary account holder on a duo plan, if you're the primary account holder on a family plan, you now have access to 15 hours of audiobook listening per month on your current Spotify premium plan. That's access to over 200,000 audiobooks, and that includes over 70% of the best-selling titles that are out there. And this is the really dope thing about Spotify. You can listen to your audiobooks, but we have a library of over 5 million podcasts. We're the leader in podcasts in the world. And we also have over 100 million songs. So your favorite artists, albums, playlists, songs, and your favorite AI DJ, that's me. You can listen to us all side by side, your music, your podcasts, and your audio books all in one place. I mean, you're taking away my reason to go anywhere else. And plus, my my podcast is on Spotify. I'm pretty sure we're there and have been there. So I'm, I'm, I'm a fan. Yes. You do not have to prove anything or get me to sway. I'm already with you, DJ. Oh, that rhyme. I'm a poet and don't know it. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are some of the benefits? You kind of mentioned it in your opening. Some yeah. of the benefits of listening to audiobooks about the mindfulness, the um, mm -hmm. getting our minds right, and so that we can be stronger people in whatever lane that we drive in every day, mentally, physically, That's and right. professionally. So, can you give us some of those benefits? Absolutely. You can listen to audiobooks during that multitask time during the day. 20% 20, 20 of our respondents, they listen to audiobooks when they're getting ready for the day during their morning routine. So you know how it is. You're getting ready. You know the day ahead. You're trying to think about it. And people are listening and consuming audiobooks to get themselves ready or to just calm down and to bring themselves to a calm, relaxed state ahead of their day. We found that 30-something percent of our respondents listen to audiobooks as they wind down their day. But you can also listen to audiobooks while you're working out. I work out pretty consistently, so I like to listen to audiobooks while I work out. I can listen to audiobooks while I commute, when I'm on a train here in New York City, or when I'm taking a flight. And that's something I'm going to do when I go down for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go down to my home state of Florida, and I'm going to put on an audiobook when I pick up my mom and fly her to her home state of Alabama. And this is the thing. When people, when you were mentioning, they're saying one generation is better or worse than the other. This is the thing. It's a new way of experiencing. I have a bookshelf full of books. My mom gifted me Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson last Christmas. The reality is I have not had the time to sit down with the physical book. But now I can listen to the audio book while I'm with my mom who gave me the book while we travel for Thanksgiving. She bought the book for herself. She hasn't had a chance to physically read the book yet. She's going to listen to it. We're going to listen to it together as we travel for Thanksgiving. And while they have me busting down those dishes after Thanksgiving dinner, because I ain't cooking nothing. And I know they're going to put me in the kitchen and make me clean up after everybody eats. So that's some of the benefits. Yeah. Those are some of the benefits. 
Wow, you have to contribute, right? If you're there to eat with a stomach and a mouth, you got to contribute some kind of way. It's you just, already it's know. Just a way. It's what we do. Yeah, don't just bring so, a bag of ice and some napkins. Contribute. Contribute, right? <laughs> so let me ask you this. So you mentioned the title that your mom gave her, and I gave my son's books too because I'm an avid reader myself. And if they don't remember yes. anything else, they know mom was a reader. She loved books. So mm -hmm. what types of titles and authors will be available to the listeners on Spotify? Yeah, we have everything from Shakespeare to Star Wars. Whatever you're into, it's going to be there. For example, Britney Spears just dropped a new memoir called The Woman in Me. And everybody's been waiting to hear her tell her story in her own words. And now you can listen to it in audiobook form. She doesn't narrate the story, but now she has somebody else narrating her words, her telling her own story in her own words, in and on her own terms. There's also Jasmine Ward's Let Us Descend, which is on everybody's book club list. This has been one of the most talked about books in 2023. So it's such a wider range. The classics are there. Books you always wanted to get to but didn't get to yet, they're right there. Just search, and it's going to be right there for you. I'm excited myself because, like I said, I already listened. So now that I can do audiobooks on there, that is a win-win for me. And the other thing that you talked about, the way we can listen to our audiobooks, I'm like you. I ex When I exercise, when I'm going to do a walk or something, or if I'm participating in a yeah. 5K, I, I have to tune out everything because it's a struggle. It's a struggle to finish, right? And so I listen That's to That's right. Audiobooks. You got to stay focused. Yes. That's right. You need something yes. that, can, that can carry you through, that you can focus on and just kind of zone out to and just do the activity at hand. And that's the beauty. It's an, it's an additional way to experience the words these amazing authors, these brilliant creators wrote down. It's just a different way to experience it because your favorite actor can be narrating it. It could mm -hmm. be the author themselves telling their own story. But then it adds soundscapes to them, sound effects to different parts of the story. And that I think just really enhance the experience. But they are the words that the authors wrote. So it's a different way of experiencing these books. Yes, and I'm not normally a proponent of multitasking, but if you're going to add audiobooks to any task that you're already doing, it has so many benefits. Like you said, the mindfulness you're learning and doing and still ticking off that to-do list, and you're still feeding your mind, body, and soul with some refreshing words, some words that can help you go from good to great and excellent. So, or just something for, you know, entertainment, you know, you don't have to always read to learn something that can just make you a... a Globe setter. You can just read something that intrigues you, entertains you, like a romance novel or a travel that's right. book. So I that's what I love about audiobooks. And I do like the physical copy, but I want that. But if I can just be like on an airplane or on the beach and listening to my favorite author, I'm all in. I'm all in. And it gets us to read. <laughs> Who wouldn't? That's right. And you mentioned traveling, a traveler's book. A lot of people, we saw this in our survey, a lot of people are listening to audiobooks about the place that they're traveling to. So we, we've seen that. So it's just really cool that there's a way that you can do that, you know, and just really learn about the place that where you're going while you're going there or while you're there. How cool is that? It is the coolest thing. It is the best thing since whatever you say is the best thing. So I have to let you go because you got to <laughs> go on and shed more of this amazing, exciting news. I mean, it is a win. It is a win. I'm telling you for Thank all you, of us, not just Spotify, for all of us. So where can we go I for agree. more information? Either go to Spotify.com or what I recommend the most is if you don't have Spotify, just go in the app store on Android or on iOS on Apple download Spotify, subscribe to a premium account, and right there on the homepage, right across the top, click on audiobooks, scroll, discover something new, or find a book that you've been looking for. Or you can go on search, type in your favorite author, type in that title that you're looking for, or scroll down to the audiobooks hub, click on that, and all the audiobooks are right there for you. If you have a free Spotify account, that's okay. We love our free users. You'll just have to upgrade to a premium account and then you can access all those 200,000 books. Yeah. And if you couldn't justify it on your budget, now you can because you get these books. How many titles? That's crazy. Right. Crazy. So it's 200,000 titles, 70% of the best selling authors. And then you also get the biggest podcast library in the world 
and 100 million songs. So they all sit side by side. We're the only platform on planet Earth that has audio books, podcasts, and music all in the same place. Can't be the three in one. All right, DJ Xavier, you got to come back. And I thank you. And I'm so oh, well, happy to for this conversation and to get to share this exciting announcement with my audience. Thank you so much for all you're doing. And I can't wait till we do this again. Bye bye. Thank you, Loretta. I love your energy. I'll be back. I know it, honey. It's destined. We are destined to make it happen again. That's Take right. care and go Spotify. Go, go, go. <laughs> bye bye. Yes. <laughs> bye bye. Bye, Loretta. So let me tell you, that was a very fun conversation because you all, you may not know this, but I read. It, that's my favorite thing to do is just to sit in my bed or on the sofa and have a good book and just read, 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 and read some more. I read to my sons. I read, I read to my grandchildren. I just read for the sake of reading. So let me tell you about um, Xavier. So Xavier goes by X Jernigan, um, Spotify's AI DJ and head of cultural partnerships. He is the voice and personality of Spotify's AI DJ. And he's named by Time Magazine as the best, as one of the best inventions. Name, mm, that's some good stuff right there. He's also Spotify's executive head of cultural partnerships, which I told you. And all right, we're going to have to stop that video because I do have another guest in this segment, but we recorded that when on Tuesday, we couldn't make the announcement until Wednesday and I just didn't have time. So I made it today, but I got to keep it moving because one of my favorite nutritionists, uh, Mia Stan, is here and she has always got this amazing energy that keeps us Focus and energize to do those hard things that are hard for some of us, like eat healthy and move our bodies more. But let me just bring her on because we have so much to talk about. So it is the daylight hours that get shorter and time spent outside exercising decreases because it's fall, right? Many of us focus on our diets to stay healthy throughout the coming months. Registered dietitian, nutritionist, Mia Sin is here. Yes, she's here to share a few ways to help prioritize wellness in this season. Everybody welcome one of our favorite nutritionists, Mia Sin. Hi there. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be back. <laughs> of course, I love it when you come on. So let's just jump right in. So it is important to eat fruits and vegetables and lean meats. We've heard that a lot, a lot. And it's so true. But what about beverages? We, I tend to, you know, love me some sweet tea because I'm in the South. And so how do we include those into a well-balanced diet or if we yes, should include oh. them? Right. A lot of us don't think about beverages. We think about what's on our plate. Well, I have two beverages with benefits for you today. So the first one is the Blue Diamond Almond Breeze Almond Milk. This is a great dairy-free milk alternative. You can use it in your cereal, baked goods, your morning coffee, smoothies. It is fortified with calcium and vitamins, free of gluten, lactose, saturated fat, cholesterol, and added sugar. And it comes in two varieties. We have the unsweetened original and unsweetened vanilla. And Another beverage with benefits is cold pressed juice. It's a convenient way to get in vitamins and minerals into your diet from fruits and veggies. So I love this brand. It's Wonder Beet, formerly known as Beetology, because they champion the power of beets in four delicious varieties. My favorite is the beet lemon ginger. There's also a beet cherry. These are high in nutrition and flavor, low in calories no added sugar or artificial additives, just 100% organic fruits and veggies. Okay, honey, you're going to have to convince me about that beet juice. I know the benefits are outstanding. I know, I know, I know. But honey, we have to talk about that off air because I, but I know it's, it's good for you. It is so good. I'm, without a shadow of a doubt, I know that. So Mia, you had a very serious, you had a series on social media called Salads That Aren't Boring. I, I remember used to feel that way myself, but I don't anymore. So how can we turn a salad zero into a salad hero? Had to do it, had to do it. <laughs> 
Yes. Well, you know, it's all about the ingredients. And for me, a salad dressing can really make or break your salad. And I like to make mine from scratch using tahini as the base. And I use this brand right here. It's the all natural mighty sesame squeeze and serve organic tahini because it's made with one ingredient, sustainably sourced high quality sesame seeds. So it's packed with calcium, eight grams of protein, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, kosher, and halal. Most importantly, it's delicious. And it looks delicious too. It looks like it's, it just makes your salad pop and just releases all of those flavors so that you feel like you're really eating something other than a boring salad because you are, you're eating a hero salad. So foods that are packed with protein have been linked to healthier outcomes. So what's a great way to include more of it into our meal plans? And how many yes. meals should we include protein? Yes. Well, protein is so important for helping to build and maintain lean muscle mass. And salmon is an excellent source of protein, but also omega-3 fats, which are important for brain and heart health. And I love this salmon right here. It's the Moe salmon. It's the world's largest producer of farm-raised Atlantic salmon. It's BAP certified, which is one of the highest standards in sustainability in the industry. So fresh Moe fish is farmed. It's fresh processed and then packed utilizing skin pack technology. This allows the product to breathe out, but does not allow anything to breathe in. And that allows the shelf life to be extended and the product can be available on shelves or um, in store or online in 24 hours or less. And it comes in different sizes, including six ounce portions in plain and seasoned varieties. So this is a great source of protein to have stocked up in your freezer or fridge for quick lunch options. You want to try to incorporate protein into each of your meals. Oh my goodness. I love that. And I love me some salmon. So a lot of people are talking about and even turn into supplements, but my thing is how do you know which ones are best and really doing what they say they're supposed to do? So since we're all turning to that, we want to be healthier and get the proper nutrition. Um, what do we need to know and how do, how critical is it to our diets that we add supplements? Yes. Well, you can meet your nutrient needs through food alone, but it can be a little bit challenging. And some studies show that nine out of 10 American children are deficient in at least one key nutrient. So a multivitamin can be a great way to help fill in those nutrient gaps. And I love this brand, Smarty Pants. I think it's perfect for kids. It's a premium gummy multivitamin that contains more nutrients to provide more comprehensive supplementation in one daily serving. And there's options for toddlers kids, teens, even adults, no synthetic colors and certified free from the nine major food allergens. This is the Smarty Pants Kids Multi and Omegas. And it's made with over 15 different nutrients, including vitamins A, B12, C, zinc, and D3, which all help to support your immune health during this time of year, which is so important as we know. Absolutely important. So research has found that, and this is good news, but I'm still I'm still one of the 40% that are struggling with this. So the research has found that about 60% of Americans are actually reducing their sugar intake. So what about those like me <laughs> who enjoy snacking and candy bars and juice? I know, don't judge me. Um, so how can this help me? How can I how can I reduce my sugar intake and become make that a 61% of Americans? Yes. Well, I'm with you. I have a big sweet tooth and that's why I love the snack, the snack option. It's the good measure blood sugar friendly snacks. And this is their bestseller. It's the peanut butter and dark chocolate nut butter bar. It's so delicious and convenient and combines peanut chunks, seeds, dark chocolate, and rich peanut butter. So it's creamy with a light crunch and all of the good measure snacks contain five or fewer grams of net glycemic carbohydrates, ensuring little impact on blood sugar and the all made with nutrient rich ingredients. So you're getting nutrition in every bite. Okay. So you don't really have to give up sugar completely. You just need to, you know, do, use Not moderation smarter. and find products that respect our need to still have some sugar, but, and be healthy at the same time. So what was that brand again yeah. on the snacks that you just showed us? Because I want to write that one down myself. Yes, this is good measure. And this is the peanut butter and dark chocolate nut butter bar. So delicious. 
It is so, and it sounds delicious. Peanut butter and oh my goodness, now one. I know <laughs> the best combination. <laughs> so you have really helped us to make our food pyramid today with you know everything that we need on our food pyramid. I don't know if people still talk about it or call it that. So that's why I love when you come on me as one of the best nutritionists because you don't you don't you don't judge us, but you do share a lot of good insight and suggestions for us. So you don't just tell us to go out there on our own. You make some really informed uh, um, suggestions for us. So thank you so much for doing that. So where can we go for more information? For more information, you can head to my website, nutritionbymia.com and nutritionbymia on Instagram. We are definitely going to follow you on Instagram because you're always sharing even more there. I love the salad hacks that you're doing with that salad dressing. So you are definitely the woman in charge when it comes to getting us healthy and to getting us moving so that we can say, you know what, we are winning this game of wellness. We are winning every day, making these little subtle changes until you get to the big picture. So thank you for what you do. You're making a difference and you're a difference maker, Mia Sin. Thanks oh, for being here. It's our my guest. pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. Bye bye. All right. So we have had quite a conversation today. If I must say myself, we started out with Chef Palazzo and making that perfect pie with the butter, perfect butter. <laughs> crust. And we talked about the blind date baking of the crust so that we could have the most perfect pie. And let me tell you, she, I thought you had to have your butter warm at room temperature to really have that perfect crust, but she said the opposite. So I'm definitely going to try her way. And then we got to share the big announcement that was made on the show on Tuesday. And it's so funny how I coordinated because I had on a white blouse and a navy blazer. Today I have on a white blouse with a what a black shrug and it looks like uh, the same thing. So it doesn't look you know like it wasn't like it wasn't playing and it wasn't. So we had Spotify DJ AI DJ X is is Xavier Jernigan. He's also head of cultural partnerships for Spotify, you can now download audiobooks. And if you're a premium member, you can have like 15 hours of audiobooks included in that premium membership. And Spotify is now the only platform in the world, get this, in the world, entire world that has all three music, podcasts, and audiobooks. There is no competition for them. They're winning at that game. And DJ X was so engaging and amazing. I loved his energy. He says he's going to come back and share more about that. And then to round it up, we ended up with some more healthy choices because we talked about that pie. You know, I want to make that first peach cobbler and I love a great pie. And now I got to make sure we're healthy, right? So this is intentional. We are so intentional here. And I love that my publicist with um, MRE, um, is here. Monica Renee is watching to make sure that um, I'm protected in the things that I say so she doesn't have to do crisis communication. <laughs> but no, she just loves the show herself too. But anyway, so I'm just glad that we had this conversation. I'm so glad that you all stay with me on here. So we're going to close it out because we have more to do and I know you do too. So you know what I say in closing, right? Think positive, dream big dreams, help someone along the way. And guess what? I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.